welcome back to another video right so in today's uh, video we shall understand the complete analysis uh, section behind cumulative volume right so uh, not only that we will understand what is volume in general uh, we will understand what is the difference between volume and oi in the most simplest manner as watching uh, a lot of um, what do you call blogs and uh, videos on this and uh, it's a little over complicated so i try to make it as simple as possible in order to understand what is oi as well as what is uh, volume right so uh, we should uh, come to know the difference between the two we'll, we will understand the importance uh, behind volume and how to use it uh, during your uh, everyday uh, trading right so for your intraday trading purposes we will understand the importance behind volume as well as uh, we will understand uh, how to use price movement and volume analysis together in order to uh, use that as an advantage uh, in our intraday trading again right and uh, as a bonus we will also uh, show you a specific uh, screener that we have in order to uh, trade using volume analysis. Quickly coming to cum cumulative volume itself. So this is one of our, our newest features uh, on Stolo. So uh, for those of you who have been using uh, cumulative OI uh, in our open interest section that is uh, right here, it, it is a very similar uh, kind of analysis right so before we get into the cumul cumulative volume uh, change part we should uh, quickly understand what is volume and what is oi right we'll try and understand the difference uh, in an as simple uh, manner as possible so quickly coming to volume versus oi we will understand okay what is uh, volume here so volume refers to the total number of option contracts that have been traded traded during a specific section right for example uh, per day right so for example let's say for a specific uh, option strike i have uh, basically taken a hundred quantity trade i have bought it uh, at let's say uh, 9 30 in the morning morning and sold it at 10 15 right the complete 100 so here my volume would be 100 and let's say again i have bought uh, 50 more and i have sold 50 more at a later period at time so total volume will now be 100 plus 50 that is nothing but 150 right so that is volume coming to open interest open interest represents the total number of outstanding option contracts for a particular strike right so open and outstanding contracts is nothing but the uh, contracts that are open but not uh, the trade has not been completed yet right for example uh, let's say now for a similar option strike i have bought 100 quantity right let's say at 9 30 i bought 100 quantity at 10 50 i sold 50 quantity right so now my oi at 915 would be 100 as i've opened it at 100 quantity at 9 at 10 15 when i sold 50 quantity my total quantity in an open position would be only 50 so my oi would now be 50 right so now my oi has reduced well, uh, but in volume there is no uh, concept of reduce in volume right it always keeps increasing so now let's say after 10 15 uh, at 10 20 i have added uh, another 100 quantity to my order right so now it is my total oi will be 50 plus 100 that is 150 so that is my total oi so hope you uh, understood that with the most simple example uh, possible right so that is the whole idea of um, uh, the difference between volume and oi so we will come to this part of price and volume uh, where you can understand directly how to understand uh, uh, based on price and volume how you can uh, take both of these analysis and uh, form a perception to it right so we will come to that after we have uh, understood uh, cumulative volume right so cumulative volume uh, here you can directly come into analysis you can come into instrument overview uh, come into the volume section and you will find cumulative volume on the left side first here right so here you can uh, select different instrument for example here i have uh, cho uh, chosen nifty 50 itself you can also choose your expiry date here i shall choose uh, september 21st expiry which is the next 
coming expiry, right? So cumulative volume not only shows you volume for a particular strike, but a cumulative of many strikes, right? For example, here, uh, 20,100 is what I've selected. If I, I can add 20,050 as well as uh, 20,000 here, right? So now for the call side, it shows me a cumulative of all these three strikes, right? Similar for the put side as well, I can choose 20,050 as well as 20,000 here, right? So now on the put side as well, it shows me the total or the cumulative of all these three strikes, right? Let me just um, show you directly here. So now this is the cumulative and it shows you how um, uh, that particular strikes volume is increasing or decreasing, right? And uh, one of the main things uh, behind volume is uh, nothing but liquidity, right? So usually uh, higher the volume, higher the liquidity, right? So it would be easier for you to trade. So let's say a, a particular strike with low liquidity would be hard for you to find, let's say you're, for example, here you're bought uh, 100 contracts, right? But if the liquidity is low, it would be hard for you to sell that particular contract in the open market. So that is one uh, very important aspect of value uh, of volume. And another important thing about volume is that if uh, higher the volume, that means there, there can be potential lot more action in that particular strike or at that particular time, right? Let's say you're trading at uh, 1230 and suddenly there's a huge spike in volume that means there are a lot more um, traders coming into play or there is uh, a specific trader with a, a high number of volume traded at that particular time right which says that there's a lot of um, uh, activity going to happen in that trade and you can expect a big movement right and I shall show you a quick example for that so cumulative volume allows you to understand okay how the volume is being changed if the volume is being increased uh, so if there is no much change in the volume throughout the day that means there might not be a lot of activity right but if you see a huge uh, uh, volume continuously being increased throughout the day you can expect a lot of movement uh, for that particular strike, right? For example, here, uh, 20,000, 100, 20, 50, 20,000, we see the volume uh, gradually increasing throughout the day, right? And if you see a huge spike, you know that there can be a, a bigger movement for that particular day. So this, uh, you can manually refresh it here. And also if you want full screen, you can directly click on a full screen so that it's a distraction view, a free view, right? You can also add your PCR volume to get an idea of uh, how the movement is happening and also you can directly add your nifty movement here right so that is a uh, cumulative volume uh, for uh, to understand uh, this table which i have put here um, that is nothing but price volume and the perception of it i shall quickly come into the option chain right yes so here in the uh, option chain so one uh, particular way of understanding uh, uh, if the particular strike is liquid or not is directly by looking at the volume, right? So vol by looking at the volume here, you understand that, okay, uh, the um, ATM strike, that is nothing but 20,100 as 7.27 crore volume, right? So most of the traders are trading that particular uh, strike here. So as you go uh, out of the money, you realize that it goes into uh, lakhs and then thousands, right? So the thousands, um, uh, strikes uh, have very less volume and hence they are um, they are uh, basically harder to trade right you might not find a buyer or seller when you want to uh, get out of a particular position right and that's where you can directly understand liquidity uh, here right uh, so not not only that uh, based on volume we also have uh, trending volume which is currently in beta we shall uh, soon uh, make it uh, out of beta and uh, release a video on how you can use this to your advantage as well, right? In terms of uh, price movement, let me just quickly open uh, the Nifty Futures chart today and uh, we shall try and understand how volume plays an important role, right? So, yes. Let me just make the yes so you can see here towards the end we saw a huge volume right so throughout the day there was very less volume and you can see almost today's market also was comparatively sideways and no movement right towards the end around here uh 310 we saw a huge spike in volume 
with which there was a huge movement as well right similarly you can see at other times uh, as well so you can do your back testing and analysis and here again right so uh, 15th September 12:30, we saw a huge spike in volume, which also led to a huge downward movement here, right? So you can directly understand the huge movement coming into play or um, uh, the liquidity aspects through volume data, right? So yes, that is the complete um, idea on volume. We will be uh, getting more analysis based on volume and uh, quickly coming to the chart here, right? So you can directly understand on increase of price as well as increase in volume, a trader's perception would be that the particular um, strike or the particular uh, equity FNO is bullish, right? Similarly, if the price is decreasing as well as volume is decreasing, you, you can uh, understand that the bearish trend is probably coming to an end and it could go towards the bullish side right you can expect a reversal similarly if price is decreasing but volume is increasing it is uh, very bearish right and uh, other way around uh, of uh, uh, increase in price whereas decrease in uh, volume it shows that bullish trend is probably coming to an end uh, people are selling off their position and you can expect a reversal right so this is the whole idea on how you can use uh, volume to your advantage as well right so you can uh, uh, quickly screenshot this as well for your future reference or even better you can uh, come back to the video watch it again to uh, understand it better right so this is the whole idea of uh, volume hope you understand it and we covered a lot of topics as well uh, in this